All right, so what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another video. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. I do do a lot of 2K20 videos, and I'll leave that playlist down in the description below. But this information right here is actually going to be really helpful only because you guys, you guys all know the 2K League and all the teams in it. The Warriors 2K League team actually played NBA 2K20 early. Now, I don't know personally if any other teams played it early. I just only saw the Warriors play it, and I saw their footage on Instagram. And as you can see, the footage was on the screen. So after I saw that footage, I was like, all right, maybe they're going to say something about the game after they play. And then come to find out, after they actually played that, like actually played 2K20, they tweeted out on Twitter. One of the players actually said... Based on what I've seen today, NBA 2K20 has the potential to be one of, if not the best 2K we've seen. Now this one, obviously I stayed tuned to what he was actually going to say next, only because I wanted him to actually like make a whole report on it. I didn't know if he was actually going to do that or not, but then come to find out again, he actually did make a report on it. And this is what he had to say about the game. Now I'm going to put everything on the screen right here, so even though I'm talking about it, you guys can see it on the screen for yourself. This is what he said about dribbling, unlike any 2K we've ever seen before. Now that was literally just the first sentence. So obviously everybody's gonna think it's not gonna be like 2K16 dribbling. It's not gonna be like 2K15 dribbling. So what kind of, and it's probably not even gonna be like 2K18 dribbling because he said it's like nothing we've ever seen before. 2K18, the way we were able to dribble in that 2K was completely different from literally every single 2K. And a lot of people's favorite 2K dribbling wise was 16 and some people like 15 as well. So if it's not literally any of those three 2Ks, then what dribbling is it actually going to be? So that's really going to be interesting. 2K19, the way you were able to dribble in that, in my opinion, was good also. So if it's not any of those, then I'm just really curious to see what kind of dribbling system it's going to be. So you guys can read the rest of the paragraph yourself. Just that first sentence basically sums up the whole thing. And then what he had to say about finishing is mashing back to an extent. A lot of new animations based on momentum towards the hoop, angles, and badges. That didn't really phase me, like, that didn't really make me think of anything only because my players are always able to shoot, and this year I'm probably going to make a playmaker, and he's going to be able to shoot as well. I don't know what exact build I'm going to be making only because I don't know everything about that yet. Obviously, nobody does, but I'm just going to say my player is going to be able to shoot, so finishing doesn't really involve me too much, but you can read that paragraph right there as well. Now defense is actually, this is actually really important, especially if you want to make a lockdown defender or any defender build. This one's actually really important. I'm going to read the whole thing. Locks aren't as OP, but you can pluck the ball if you time the reach and correct and square up. That's really important too. Like literally all of this is actually important, but this one specifically only because in 2K19, if you're a lockdown defender and if you spam square a good amount of times, you're going to average about four or five steals a game. And if you have, if especially if you have the um, takeover on, if you have takeover on and spam square, you will literally get five plus steals a game. And then without takeover, you'll probably still get five plus steals a game. So take or so lockdown defenders in 2K19 was somewhat OP, and they never, I don't think they ever nerfed it this year. So I'm just happy that in 2K20 it's not as OP. And then he continued to say, lanes aren't OP or bad. Seems like you need to be square up to get a passing lane steal. All new block animations along with contact defense animations. Now, that's actually important too. So if, you, if you're a guy who likes to drive baseline, it might not work in 2K20 as often. So just a heads up right there. And if you're a type of person who likes to make a lot of risky passes, that most likely won't work as it used to in 2K19, 18, and all the other 2Ks. 2K20, it won't work as often, so be aware of that too. But he also had to say stuff about badges. He said so many new badges. Obviously, there's 80 plus badges in the game. And if you guys didn't know that, yes, Mike Wang actually confirmed that on Twitter. So there's a lot of new badges that affect gameplay in various ways, whether it be downhill movements and angles or on ball defense, plucks, and blocks. Now, uh, as far as the badges go, it literally fits like. From my, from what Mike Wang said, all right, my player builder is a whole different thing. Like it's completely different from all the archetype builds we were able to make in the previous two K. So 
that's its whole other thing. So the only reason they have 80 plus badges, and this is coming from Mike Wang himself, so it is confirmed, and I'm basically summing it up, is because let's say you were to make like an athletic finisher, an athletic playmaking finisher. I don't know how you're gonna do that, but let's say you actually were able to do that. They're gonna have a badge specifically for that player. That's why they have all these creative ass badges and 80 plus badges only because they want a badge that can actually fit your type of player that you made. So the whole my player, the whole my player builder is going to be way different than previous 2Ks and all these new badges, at least one badge is going to fit your player build. That's why they have so many creative badges. But I just wanted to get that out the way about the badges. Now he also has an overall thought section. So this is what he overall thought about the game. He said the game felt well rounded and has a lot of potential. We played an older version of the game so I can't speak on how it will be in a month but my initial reaction is an extremely positive one. I don't know what he, I really have no idea what he meant when he said we played an older version of the game. That might be like an older version like the rosters or something, I don't know. But they did play NBA 2K20, you even saw it at the beginning of the video. They played it early. I don't know if it was a demo version. I'm pretty, honestly, I don't know if it was like, either way, even if it was the demo version, they got to play, get, they actually got to play it for themselves. And I think the teams they actually played were the Lakers and the Clippers, but I'm not too sure on that. But that's just interesting stuff I wanted to let you guys know about just in case you didn't see it on Twitter. Because honestly, a lot of people didn't catch on that on Twitter. And Mike Wang literally almost every day now is giving us more and more information about 2K20. And he's really talking a lot about badges because a lot of people have so many questions about that. So now is the perfect time. If you have a Twitter or even if you don't have a Twitter, just make one if you're allowed to. I don't know how old you guys are. I don't know if you guys have like your parents have rules on you. I don't know. But if you're allowed to make a Twitter, make a Twitter and ask LD or ask LD2K and Mike Wang. Ask both of them all of these questions. I would say ask Ronnie2K, but he doesn't really answer too much. I don't know what he's doing. But ask Mike Wang and LD2K about all these questions and they're probably going to respond to you. And if I were you, I would specifically ask Mike Wang because he is the gameplay or he is the gameplay director, developer, whatever you want to call it. He, he has a lot to do with the gameplay. Just know that. So anything you want to know about that, just ask him. And yeah, that's really all I have for you guys with this video. It was kind of a long video, but I touched on some key topics and key points so you guys could know what the game, what people think about the game, basically. So that's all I have for you guys with this video. So if you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace. It's usually sp damn. Wait, then why are you doing it now? Because you guys just got in an argument or something? No, because we're just friends now. That was when we was talking. Uh, Nigga, what the fuck is going on with my internet connection? The internet bro? shit, bro. But my internet connection is not even that bad. That's the problem. It's like... You ran out of bounds. What do you mean? Nigga, I know. Nigga, I don't know what's going on. Nigga, fuck this nigga. Get off me. Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna pass the ball. Yo, what, you, you, are you still lagging? A little bit. Alright. I'm gonna swing the ball because it's like delaying when I shoot. Oh my. Dang out. Hey! <laughs> Too fucking easy. We should win the rest of the games. The squad we played before, they they could dribble. Bro. I couldn't ah! even, I couldn't even guard them. It's gonna kick me out. Tell me when you stop lagging. We're good. It's only on defense. The fuck? Go up. <laughs> Yo, one more week from Friday. Fuck. Bro, that's what I'm saying, nigga. It might be turn. Uh, fuck, fuck, fuck. Where the hell's your moves come from? This nigga doing bitch moves all the time. I said. Oh, I on everything. I was going to green light that, bro. He got so lucky. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, give me my points back. That's bullshit. <laughs> Oh, my controller died. Your controller didn't die? Did it really? Bro, it did. Alright, we're good. How'd you plug it in so fast? He passed the ball. That shit hurt. Oh, Jared, can you guard? 
Oh, never mind. I had to guard my man. Ooh, look up, look up. Thank you. Who do you think you're playing with, nigga? Guard you? What are you doing? Bro, I'm lagging. You're not even moving, bro. I'll show you the screen, bro. I'm delaying. Like, everything I do is like 80 minutes late. We're gonna win. I got you. I'll carry us. It's only on defense. Who do you think I am? What do you mean, oh? You've seen that before. Oh, it's lagging. It's lagging. It's lagging. It's going to kick me out. Who's going in that connection? It gets like 10. If you swing the ball to me, I'll end it fast. I promise. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> go up, go up, go up. Thank you. He's out. He's out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Why shit. you sound like that? No, nobody's scared to sound like that in Flip, though. Do they sound like that in the hood? Like when you hoop? No, bro. What the fuck? Nigga, why don't they sound like that during, like, MJ games? They have, like, such high... Like, Wait, so you like, remember when we used to hoop in, like, Manassas? Is the competition way better than that? Way better. Like, like, can Isaiah, can Isaiah Sharp actually hoop over there or no? Isaiah Sharp? Who's you know, that? You don't remember uh, oh, when he when he was guarding me? You don't remember him? Huh? No. You don't remember when me and you would went? We would literally run the court, and then the college players came. This is sophomore year. Yeah, yeah, I do. That's green. Wait, yeah. So, is and you don't remember Isaiah Sharp? He was the one who guarded me because I was cooking everybody. Can he hoop over there? Like, is he good enough? Huh? Them niggas can put buckets anywhere, really. Who, Isaiah Sharp? Yeah, he's good, right? He's D2. I think he's. D I think he went D1, actually. D1 or D2. But yeah, he's good. I was just, I was just asking if... What? 